Welcome to Mr. Noel's Flippin' Math class. So in this introductory video, I've got three things that I want to do for you. First, I want to introduce you to my flipped class, and I want to set some, some reasonable expectations, things that I want you to be able to do so that you're successful in this class. And then we'll go on a virtual tour of my website that hosts all the videos and all the notes and the answers and things so that you understand exactly what you're supposed to do when you're at home doing your lessons. So what exactly is a flipped class? Well, in a traditional class, you do your lesson at school, maybe through some sort of lecture, some sort of activity, and then you go home and you practice it with some homework. And whenever you're doing your homework, maybe you, you totally forgot all those things that you were supposed to learn in class. and. Uh, or maybe you're just working on your homework and you don't know how to do it and there's nobody at home to help you. So what do you do? You probably just copied. Hmm. In a flipped class, you, these things are flipped, right? The order is changed. Instead, you're going to do the lesson at home and you're going to do that through internet videos and, that are made by me. High quality videos. And then you're going to go to school and do your homework at school. And whenever you're doing your homework at school, you got me there to help you and you have your classmates there to help you. Maybe you felt like Sam here, totally confused. I'm confused. Or maybe you felt like you get it and nobody else does. So here are some benefits to having our class structured in this way. Um, to have it flipped. First of all, you get to learn at your own pace. Maybe you um, are like Sam there and uh, you're totally confused when you're in class because everybody else is going faster than you and you're just sitting there going, hmm, what's going on? Or maybe you're the type of kid who um, is getting it before everybody else. And so you're sitting there bored while everybody else is trying to catch up with you. So whenever you're watching these videos, you can pause and rewind if you don't get it, or you can kind of fast forward if you totally do get it. So let's say you're watching an internet video here. One of uh, our videos where we're trying to learn something online. And then, oh, wait a minute something I just didn't understand so I could just scrub this backwards just a little bit or I can pause it so maybe I can write something down or maybe I totally get this and so I need to fast forward because I don't need to see this little part and then I can continue with my video also whenever you're doing your homework assignments at school, well, then you are amongst all those kids that can help you work on that assignment. Then you can work together and have fun. And, uh, well, I'm going to be there to help you too. Besides, you get to learn in the comfort of your own home. Okay, so in order to be successful in this class, in this flipped class, you're gonna have to keep up with your lessons. Okay, so traditionally whenever you missed a homework assignment, it wasn't that big of a deal because you could probably just make up that homework assignment. But in a flipped class, if you skip your homework, which is actually watching the video lessons, it's as if you actually were absent from school. And you know how hard it is to catch up when you're absent in an advanced class. You don't want to be like this guy. Who didn't watch his lesson videos again. So here's the inevitable outcome of short-sightedness. Of you maybe forgetting to do your lesson videos. If that's the case, whenever you come into class, 
You're going to have to watch those lessons in class while everybody else is doing their work. Then whenever you go home, you're going to have to do that homework assignment that everybody else did in class and then watch your new videos. Okay, so then maybe you forgot to watch those videos again because you didn't have time or some other priorities. So you forgot your lessons. You have to come back in class and watch those. And then while everybody else is doing their homework assignment in class, you'll have to go home and do that homework assignment while watching the videos. And you can see how this is just going to spiral out of control very quickly. And don't forget, if you are doing your lessons in class, you'll have to wear the headphones of shame. and the glasses of myopia. So, to ensure the success of your flipping math class, let's set some reasonable expectations. But first, let's go to my website where all of this stuff is located. So you'll want to call up your favorite web browser and type in the URL www.denisd.org slash jnoel. Hopefully you have yourself a bookmark or a favorite made of this page and specifically of this page because I want you always to check to see if you have announcements, something I'm trying to tell you specifically. Okay, so let's go over to the flipping mass section of this website. So whenever I call this thing up, the only thing really on this page right now is your flipping uh, pledges, the PDF file. Click it, open it, print that thing out, and you might print it two-sided so that you can save yourself just a wee bit of paper. And uh, read over it. Talk about it with your parents, have them sign it, you sign it, and there's going to be some pledges for you to sign. And here's our first flipping pledge. I pledge to watch the assigned lesson videos in a timely fashion, taking notes and working practice problems as I would in a traditional class. So let me go ahead and initial that. So speaking of your keeping up with your assignments, let's assume that you're on the home page of our website. Let's first go look at the algebra, the pre-AP Algebra 2 section. And we'll scroll down to whatever six weeks that we're in. And click on that. And then there's a list of all your assignments. And it's hyperlinked to whatever lesson it is that we're supposed to be watching. So you can click on that and it'll open it within the same window or in a new window. So once you are on this page, then you have the lesson notes either in PowerPoint whenever it's in a picture, or the PDF version right below it, and right below that is all the lesson answers, everything worked out. Um, if there's some extra files, I might have a jumped or sketchpad file and that's going to be open right in here, but you have to have Jumped or Sketchpad, or you have to have the Sketchpad Explorer app if you have an iPad. Your challenge problems in a PDF file, you can click on that and open that thing up, and the answer's right down below it. Make sure you have this thing printed before you come to class next time. And then, of course, here's your homework answers. All the worked out solutions to every single problem, and you'll be using that in class to check to see uh, if you're doing your work correctly. Right down below, if we scroll down, we'll see all of the lesson videos broken up by objective. Most of the time, I will be making these videos. If I don't have time, then I'll put together a really great playlist for you of videos that other people, um, respectable teachers, have made. My second one, I pledge to contribute constructively to online discussions, at least two per school week, 
including asking my own questions when I don't understand something or answering someone else's questions when I do, keeping my responses positive and school appropriate. I totally agree with that. Let me go ahead and initial that. So speaking of questions and comments, first thing you want to do is sign in. Once you have signed in on your account, now you can post comments and you don't have to wait for me to approve them. Now, whenever you go to watch a video, I would recommend instead of watching it right here on this screen, to click on the comments right below it. This is going to open up the comments section. And there may be some comments right down below, some questions that people have already asked and have had answered. Whenever I go to play this video, if the quality is not good enough for you, you can always switch it to something higher, all the way up to 1080p, which will allow you to full screen it a nice Blu-ray quality. Okay, so now that I have signed in and I've changed my quality, to whatever I wanted it to be. And I have myself a question. I'm going to come down here and just post the question and submit it. You don't have to wait for me to approve it. It'll automatically be approved. So this is very important for you to stay positive and school appropriate. Oh, and don't forget, you want to rate this thing. I pledge to work cooperatively and diligently in class on my activities and my assignments, making the difficult choice to prioritize classwork over casual social interaction. Boy, that's a tough one, but I'll go ahead and agree with that one. Let's go ahead and initial. Because we don't want to be like this class right here. You know some cute girl just walked by and everybody is got to try to impress her, something like that. Or, what's going on in this class? Now, this is not the class that we want. We want to be, sure, having a bit of fun, but we also want to be getting our work done. Next one, I pledge to use my internet-enabled device, <coughs> phone, appropriately in class to conduct research and to check problem answers while keeping social networking to a minimum. Whew, that's another tough one. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and agree with that. See, take a look. These kids are in class. Well, let's say that these are kids in class and look at them. They're hardly paying attention to what's going on. You know, they're doing stuff like updating their Facebook account, or doing that thing where you pin pictures and look at a whole bunch of pictures and stuff and or maybe uh, looking at blogs on Tumblr or some other things on Tumblr you're not supposed to or maybe you're just sitting in text messages back and forth. Here's my last pledge. I plan to maintain or I pledge to maintain a positive attitude while I learn to adjust to this new and exciting learning environment. Oh, I totally agree with that one. That one's the best one of all. We want to be just like this guy, maintaining a positive attitude, a positive outlook, and let's do some flipping math.